A very good morning to you. Our text, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 25. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Our heading, an overcoming power. When we cover the table with a white cloth and put thereon the bread and wine, what mean we by this ordinance? We mean by it that Christ suffered for us and that we being already washed in His precious blood and so made clean, do come to the table to drink wine as an emblem of the way in which we live and feed upon His body and upon His blood. He tells us in his word, Except a man shall eat my flesh and drink my blood, there is no life in him. We do therefore after a spiritual sort drink his blood, and he says, My blood is drink in thee. Firstly, you see the blood as power without to cleanse, and when it has power within to strengthen. It is written in the Revelation, they overcome through the blood of the Lamb. How could they otherwise? He that fights with the precious blood of Jesus fights with a weapon that will cut through soul and spirit, joints and marrow, a weapon that makes hell tremble and makes heaven subservient and earth obedient to the will of the man who can wield it. Secondly, Sin dies at its presence. Death ceases to be death. Hell itself would be dried up if the blood could operate there. The blood of Jesus. Heaven's gates are opened. Bars of irons are pushed back. The blood of Jesus. My doubts and fears flee. My troubles and disasters disappear. The blood of Jesus. Shall I not go on conquering and to conquer so long as I can plead that? Application. And now, is this blood to be had? Can it be got at? Yes, it is free, as well as full of virtue, free to every soul that believe. Away from your own works and doings, Turn those eyes of yours to the full atonement made, to the utmost re-ransom paid. And I pray, God grant it may be so, for His name's sake, Jesus' name, 